Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we play Don't Be Afraid, the first toy. Let's have a look at the Steam page. Don't Be Afraid, the first toy is an introduction to the dramatic story of a boy kidnapped by a psychopath exploring the giant house of your torturer. You will soon discover things worse than your childish nightmares. Take on the role of Jamie and see what phrase the first toy actually means. Take on the role of a child. Keep your cool to get out of the madman's clutches. It's all generic spiel. Take on the role of a child and see how he sees the world. I know how a child sees the world. I was one. <laughs> uh, find the notes describing the story. Find out who is responsible for your kidnapping. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just go. So this is a prologue for a game that is not out called Don't Be Afraid. However, I'm pretty sure it was a demo for that game that has been rebranded into a prologue because it was available for download. Wow. Really on me? And I wish listed it and then suddenly it was no longer available for download and I just got an email through saying it's out again. Oh, Theodore. Beautiful. The guitar boy. Thank you. Excuse me? So yeah, it's a demo slash prologue. How beautiful you are. Creepy, dude. That's oh, excuse me. Where are my manners? My name is Mr. Franklin. I can't wait. Could you put a shirt on, please, my dude? That's unbelievable. Your body is so smooth, beautiful little figure. It seems you are 11, 12 years old. Oh, God, guys, really? Hmm. Why are you so quiet? I see a model without voice functions. Relax. Right, okay, you are the first toy. There's, this is still like you've never a bit like I, that was just very, very noncy and made me very uncomfortable. And wait for me. But you're not a real child, so. Oh, and don't be afraid. <laughs> this voice, I could do better voice acting. Don't be afraid. <laughs> the first toy. You are the first toy. That's the plot twist. Also, this guy is a fucking pedophile. Use left mouse button to pick up. What is this? What are these? Huh? Oh. Seals. What on earth? It's terrible. What is the... And now I can escape. Oh, I see. Use a WASD to move and left shift to run. Remember, you're a kid. You see the world like a kid. Oh, so I'm short. Is that what you're telling me? All oh, right, I was in a toy box. Okay. See what it means to be the first toy within the first one minute of the game. It's quite dark. It does look nice. Can I take the guitar? The guitar is the size of me. Madness. You gotta love it when they just leave the keys to the doors in cabinets next to the doors. Key to the door. I hope it opens the locked door in this room. Do you see any other door, my guy? I don't think so. I have to get out of this basement. Holy frame rate. What was that? It's probably locked. I have to find a key. Right, yes. Hunt for keys in the dark to unlock doors. The frame rate is abysmal. There's no reason. Without light, you can't see anything. Your candle may go out sometimes, so be careful and check if there are some candles around. Big up. So we do have a light source. Don't burn yourself, dude. <laughs> Got to be aware of scorching hot burning wax. CCTV. Is he pursuing me now? Is that it? What? Why? Huh? How do you do that? And why? <laughs> How does a mannequin do that? What? What are you? Who made you? Holy bananas. Right. Locked. Find a key. But where? <laughs> Hunt for one. Hammers. Can't use those though. God, what is it with the frame rate here? 
That is truly horrifying. Put it on medium, dude. Shouldn't be a problem. We have candle. And now what? Find a key, but where? <laughs> nope, can't open that. Great. Great. Frame rate. Can't imagine there's anything else in there. So where haven't we been? Oh. We had... Because <laughs> the mannequin would blow out the candle for some reason. We had to go around him. Holy crap, this is unoptimized garbage. Oh. Right, I'm turning some settings down, guys. Ultra, low, normal. What good is your preset if it doesn't change anything? What the hell? Uh. Well, who's that? Who are you? I hear whispering. Franklin, I found something that might interest you. Did you know that you can hollow the mannequin, then chop a corpse into small pieces and put them inside the figure? The process requires some work, but the final effect will be very appealing. Moreover, this act will fit perfectly into your obsession with mannequins. I would kill to see... Okay, dude. So they're putting real people... In. I thought that was an actual key. It's not. They're putting people inside the mannequins and then chopping them up. And I am a toy, I guess. Does he put real people inside toys? Or something? Wow. Look at those textures. And that's normal. Oh, well. I've already read this. What are you holding? Oh. Ah, uh, were you there before? Seriously? Dev's got some issues. <laughs> For real. I don't know if I can even post this on YouTube. I think I think mannequin tits are okay, are they? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Is it, did you draw that in Microsoft Paint, my guy? Screwdriver plus fish equals mannequin. Of course. What else would it equal? What's the meaning of this room? Oh, I need a screwdriver for the fish. I did see one of them has a fish head. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, fornicating mannequins have disappeared. That's so weird. That really is weird. I'm really curious about this developer now. This mannequin will blow out my candle, but why? I can't see shit now. Right, fish head. But do I need a screwdriver? Why would I remove it? There's a light here now. What benefit would that be to me to remove the fish head? Seriously. I mean, the FPS seems to have stabilized, but at the cost of the textures. My computer's not that bad. It's actually all right. Well, I'm lost. We'll head back to the other room. A stepladder. Oh, and you're holding a fish too. I have to take it somehow. Where do I find a screwdriver though? That's all this is. Find item hidden uh, as mannequins will creepily stand behind you. Right. So is there a screwdriver in here? No. This room exists to tell me to use one. Now I need to find one. We're just hunting for objects. Mother of God. Oh, uh, what's in here? More more mannequins. What? A mannequin. Yes. It is. <laughs> Interesting feature, I suppose. You have to be aware of the route you take. Where is this goddamn screwdriver, though? FPS just cannot handle looking over there. Right, we're up in these textures then, because there's no reason not to. Ultra. See, that doesn't change anything. Well, yeah, they look a lot better now. I guess the game's just got some problems, dude. So where is the screwdriver? I can't find... I can't find... the screwdriver. Unless I'm suddenly allowed to go through here now. No. Meaningless door. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. 
New item, screwdriver, right. Let's take the fish head. And a kid could figure out how to do that, right? Well, well, well. What a Quiet for a moment. Do I have that in my inventory? I need to put it somewhere. When I hug my bunny, I feel safe. Is it clever? Like, why am I doing this? Because <laughs> I saw a picture on the wall? But what do I do with it now? I have to put it on a headless mannequin. I guess. Oh, okay, that's why that one was highlighted. Huh? Oh. Oh, he appeared and blew out my candle. Will you stop? Will you stop? I need another candle. But I can't see. <laughs> What has that done then? Hold on. Okay, we'll get another candle from out here, I guess. Oh. The eyes. Yes, they are. That's spooky. Oh. Right, and we need to uh, make it through here without getting our candle blown out. Is it, is it even doable? Oh. To be fair, it's pretty creepy. I'll give him that. Quite effective. And now we can go through here. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what? What happened to him? Right. I think we know which door that is. He's going to come and hunt me down. We need to not get our candle blown out. Oh. Yeah, definitely some very disturbing imagery. I give the dev props there. So was this the key? It must be the door. No, <laughs> it's meaningless. Why have this door here? Oh, it's the other one. Is the guy coming or what? You are only a child. You are weak. Be careful. Okay. You don't know how old I am, buddy. <laughs> I have to find a way to get out of here. Oh, annoying. <laughs> what a weird game mechanic. Mannequins that blow out your candles. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's just utterly insane. I wonder what the dev was smoking. Oh. And he's breathing. <laughs> you ain't getting out, buddy. Jump scare. Read. After the successful enlarging of the mouth and sewing in the teeth, the patient began to choke. His vocal cords still function while working. I often hear his growls. A human shouldn't be able to make sounds like these. Franklin, we should get rid of all of this. I don't like that. Your experiments wander around all this damn house and always scare the shit out of me. I know that nothing comes before family, but couldn't you just shorten their leashes? No one will enter the basement, but Lydia could be more discreet. What would storytelling be in a horror game were it not for conveniently placed bits of paper with exposition all over them? It's kind of a cool concept, though, experimenting on people and trying to impose their bodies into that of mannequins. It's too dark, scary. Well, how do you get past there then? Go right there. Tell you what would be an effective scare here. You come back down, one of the doors is open, and one of these guys is not in there. Huh? New item, bag. What, what, what good is that? Bag, I can use it to cover things. Cover what? A mannequin. I need a light source though. What? Can't currently go through there. I need to find the key, okay? Wow, this really is quite expansive. It's not really clear what you're supposed to do. It seems like a lot of trial and error. So I can't put a bag over him. Maybe I can. No. So how do I disable him? Oh. You know, it's that the first time. This kid's a trooper, man. I'd be terrified right now. I mean, perhaps he is. The size of them! Oh. My god, seriously, the size of these men. Is it because I'm a child? Is this what grown-ups look like to children? 
don't remember. Do you want a bag? Do I have to put a bag over one of their heads? Is that it? Why would I do that? Why would a child do that? Other bag. I can use it to cover things. What things? Why would I do that? Right, I'm legitimately stuck then. Like, what the hell do you do with the bag? I would think you could put it over this guy and walk past. But I can't. Ah, oh, dude. Who the hell knows? Not like I can look up a walkthrough. So, you'd think, oh, I see a, uh, a head. Surely. I should put a bag over it, maybe. But no. Holy crap, been playing for 30 minutes. Need to get good. I want to be playing this all evening. Not bad, though. It's all right. Pretty competent. Anything in here? No. What the hell am I missing? I have a bag. But what... What good is a bag? This is scales. Why would I weigh myself? Just give me this. I'll use this. I'll uh, I'll stab the dude. If I have to. What is this? Anything under the table? Think like a kid to survive. Well, I don't think any kid would have any hope of getting out of this situation. Oh, oh, oh God. Here we go. Have to go up the step ladder. Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. I spent the last 10 minutes lost, unable to progress because I didn't realize you have to step on this before you do it. I mean, I had the right idea from the very beginning. I just didn't realize. That's annoying. Key. Huh? This guy's just watching me on CCTV the entire time. Why, why don't you... Why don't you come and stop me, dude? Huh? Somebody did what? Somebody pushed the door down, but who? Oh, God, no! Did you see that? Don't look behind. Here we go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. What do you mean, try again? Was I too slow? Oh, there's a checkpoint here. Oh. Are we supposed to be stealthy? Alright, well, he's, he's fucked off anyway. Alright. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Come here right now! <laughs> what? Been a naughty, naughty boy. Oh, you can kind of see in the distance. Come here! Huh? You, you couldn't sit still, could you? What? The game is over for Jamie. Kids get missing every day, but now David is the one that needs your help. Play the full version of Don't Be Afraid soon. Who's David? Oh, a trailer! Exciting! Bit crushed to oblivion, come on, dude. Oh. Do you know what, though? The visuals were nice. Uh, the atmosphere was nice. There was some good scares. Pretty decent stuff overall, I do think. Uh, it, the, the gameplay was a little trial and error, or just trying to find precise items in certain spots. It was, it was like a key hunt, essentially. It's a demo slash prologue, I guess. So is it part of the main game or not? Oh, I won't be doing that. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was alright, yeah. Not bad at all. It's free to play if you wish to check it out yourself. I will leave a link down below. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. I will see you all very, very soon in another video. Take care, guys. Bang your heads. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>